If you type in Fortnite creative maps on the internet, it doesn't take long until you find a massive list of different maps. About the thousands of maps, thousands of practice maps, which seven are the best? So in this video, I'm going to show you the seven best practice maps if you want to get better at WK. But there is no better map to start on than Headshot Only Box Fights map. This map genuinely will be your shotgun aim's best friend. You're thrown into one big box fighting arena, everyone is one shot, as long as you headshot them, and the only way you can kill someone is by headshotting them. If you get body shotted, your health will just regenerate back up to max again after half a second. So this helps work on peace control, awareness, crosshairs placement, and you guessed it, shotgun. For the maximum improvement on this map, focus on having good crosshair placement with your shotgun and taking your time with shots. Especially when you're in a 1v1 back and forth aim duel against someone, make sure you're not just rushing to get that shotgun shot off and actually working on improving your aim. Coming up in the sixth spot, we have Mechanics Training V4. This works on near enough everything you need to train in Fortnite, from edit maps to peace control, even peak practice. But my particular favourite scenarios to play is the aim duel training. Coming up in the fifth spot, we got one of my own maps. Taven's ultimate edit map. I made this for one of my videos and ever since you guys have absolutely loved it. So I thought I'd have to give it a spot on this list. Genuinely it has everything you could ever ask for in an edit or even edit warm up map. There's a free build section, crosshair placement, edit courses with different difficulties from easy to hard, edit towers, build and edit tunnels and my personal favourite, a realistic peace control section. But once you've improved your edits, you might want to start improving your box fighting skill. In a map which I genuinely think is better than headshot only map and this is Martos's turtle fight if you play this for just five to ten minutes a day I promise you you'll see massive difference in your kills in game if there was only one map I could play in the whole of Fortnite it would be this map this is the one map that I will play every single day and if I don't play it my kills will literally get halved in game it's literally a game changer and it's a box fighting map that can work on adapting to the gun metas aim peace control edits peaks and a load more all into one realistic scenario where you're actually fighting another player which all that in one realistic scenario is literally unheard of the maps like raiders mechanics maps are all good for just getting the right movements down but the problem is the scenarios are not natural like proper scenarios you'd get into game like turtle fights is now we have our insane box fighting skills we've got amazing edits good aim you're probably looking for a realistic map that can improve your end games and if that's the case final moving zone was made by jivan is perfect it has all the realistic loot that's in game you start off with a total of 550 mats so you're forced to get refreshes and it throws you into this realistic end game scenario obviously there is not as much on the line as like a proper tournament game or a scrim game because you've just sat there for 20 minutes getting to end game but if you genuinely try your hardest to win the game you'll be able to maximize your practice you get out of these and it's much better for your time than playing normal scrim next up we want to improve some of our fighting in a realistic scenario if that's the case ken beans has a map just for you 1v1 speed realistic you probably already know what this map is but it is such a good map for any of you looking to get better at 1v1ing the way it works is one of you is forced to box up at the start like as if you've been tagged and you finish manning up and the other needs to be the attacker your goal as the defender is to take some sort of safe peek to get some damage off on your opponent and then you can flip the role and you can become the attacker or if you start on the attacker your goal is to take safe peeks and try and take as little damage as you can while trying to kill the opponents now there is a fill option but personally i don't think the players in the fill are necessarily the best players so i would personally recommend getting a friend to play or if you don't have a friend, just use the fill section. It'll be fine, but it's not as good as if you had a friend. And to finish off the list, I'm going to put you on the best warm-up map. And this is my ultimate warm-up map. I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's just another Taven map. But maybe I'm being biased, but I genuinely believe this could be one of the best warm-up maps in the whole game. Look at this. You have a warm-up map, which has edit towers from edit up and edit down towers, double edits, triple edits, edit courses, edit tunnels. You're probably thinking, isn't this just another edit map? But no, we have aim section as well. We have sniper recall section. When, when have you ever heard of sniper recall section? 1v1 against bot, close range tracking, shotgun peace control section. Honestly, the list just goes on and on. So I'd recommend you just go check it out for yourself. I recently updated it as well with all the new loot. So go give it a go and tell me what you think. Anyways, thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you did get this far, comment pineapple down below so I know who the real ones are. If you did enjoy, smash the like, 
button and subscribe to the channel it helps out more than I can even explain and make sure to comment down below as I do respond to all comments and if you like this video you may also like this video on screen now